This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to a new video, ladies and gentlemen. And today we are pressure washing uh, a very old play area in a school that has not been done for a very long time. Stay tuned. So then, um, as part of the free community cleanup things that I'm doing, um, thanks to a lot of you that have donated to the channel, um, I'm going to put some names on screen at the end of the video, just to say thank you to everyone by the way. Yeah, this school got in contact through one of the schemes that I'm doing to do this sort of thing, and they said, Sid, can you help us out? Our play areas in our schools, a couple of soft play areas, desperately need pressure washing, they really need cleaning up. Um, so I said, yeah, perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so here we are, so I'll show you the job now. First blue section, um, really nice blue soft rubber soft play area. Um, this is not too bad actually, not as bad as some of the ones I've done, um, but you can see over here where it's been in the shade, pretty bad stuff. Um, but this should come up really nice, there should be no dramas at all to get this looking absolutely brand new. Um, just all around the edge in really, it's really bad, but you'll see a dramatic difference on this, no worries. Nice red area, so yeah, nice uh, few colour changes on this job. Um, full of moss and stuff, all in the gaps, it's all looking uh, yeah, pretty old and uh, worn out to be honest with you. I'll give all of this place stuff a nice clean over as well. And then finally, let's go over to the next section, which is the final section. Not as colourful this one, but the worst part of the job basically. Now, this is their little play uh, story time area where all the nursery kids, uh, yeah, they read a book and stuff at lunchtime and things like that. As you can see, there's a nice little throne there. But I mean, look at the state of this. All of this, all of this. Now this is, uh, oh, is it rubber mulch, this stuff is, so it's a little bit harder to clean. Um, it's not like a solid surface, it moves and stuff like that, so it's like basically rubber wood chippings. Um, so yeah, very difficult to clean, well not very difficult, well we'll see anyway. Um, but it should come up lovely, so I'm going to get stuck in now, get all set up, ready to go. So put your feet up, relax and enjoy some satisfying pressure washing, cheers.
So I hope you're all enjoying the video so far. Before I move on to the next section of this job, I'd like to introduce the sponsor of today's video and who has helped pay for this free clean to be done. So the sponsor of the video is Skillshare. Now Skillshare, I'm sure many of you have already heard of it. It's an online learning hub where there's thousands of classes at the click of a button. I know many of you are interested in starting your own business. There's plenty of classes for that. If you're looking into getting into YouTube, there's editing classes and even social media and marketing ones. I'm a member myself and I've been looking into starting this Sony Vegas course by Masuk to get these videos to flow even better for you guys. Now this site is designed for learning so when you're a member there's no adverts, nothing that's going to get in your way and there's always new classes that are popping up every single day. So now for the fun part, the first 1000 of you guys that click the link in the description below, it's going to be the very top link, will get one month free of Skillshare. So you can essentially try before you buy, see if anything suits you. So I've had a good look and there's plenty of classes for exterior cleaning, starting businesses, all sorts of things like that. The only thing I haven't found is pressure washing. So if you guys uh, want me to make my own one on there, then I'll look into it and try and get that sorted for you. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's crack on with the cleaning. Okie dokie, two out of three done. Uh, I'll show you this bit again, it's better. Um, I've had to treat it, as you can see, there we are. A lot better than what it was, it was still quite stripy beforehand. I've treated that three separate times now. Um, and to be honest, the third treatment, it really made no difference. So I think that's the best I can get it. Um, I still will go over it, give everything a final rinse down because there has been chemical on this. So we wanna make sure it's all completely gone. But when I do that, I wanna get close up on these bits as well. So I'm just saving that till last, just to make sure I've got enough fuel. Um, right, this one all completely finished now, that's come up really, really nice. Um, obviously the thing is still blowing on it, so again, final rinse down at the end, but that's come up absolutely spotless, I'm really happy with that. And then across the mini field we go to the final part, um, which hopefully will be the most fun part, and uh, yeah, be the biggest difference. So yeah, all of this to do, I'm doing all of these little things, I'm gonna do the chair as well. So uh, I'm just gonna have some lunch, have a break, and then I'll get straight to this, thank you.
did it all finished everything almost perfect so um again some spots i'd like a bit, a bit more cleaner if possible but i've tried my best multiple treatments on some of it there's only so much you can do sometimes um but the head teacher just swung by just to check out how it's going and they're over the moon they've given me some vouchers for some cookies and a box of biscuits so yeah there's my payment for the job <laughs> very pleased with that um yeah i do really appreciate it so i'll show you this uh, blue area first there we are there's the final product on that this part i've put them uh, toys back that were sat there already so again i mean i've pretty much cleared up i mean i don't even think there's some slight striping ever like ever so slightly um but compared to what it was i'm very very pleased with how that came up because i was really worried um, when I first spotted it, I was like, oh no, it's going to look, also I thought the whole thing was going to look like it and I was terrified, but yeah, and that's all that. As I said, these parts around here, black, but it's just worn rubber. There's nothing I can do about that unless I painted it. Um, right, now onto the red section. I mean, faultless, came absolutely perfectly. Very pleased with that. I mean, again, indirect sunlight the entire time, so I, I knew this would clean, clean up really well. Um, so yeah, all of that done. Washed all of the play area equipment as well, so the kids will be pleased when they get back. But that's the main thing. So yeah, very pleased with that part. Now, if you follow me down to the rubber mulch, rubber wood chippings section of the playground, and would you have guessed that there was actually a bit of colour in this thing? I didn't know. I think one at one point, well, I already know what it was like at one point because under here where it's more sheltered from the elements, it's green, green and orange and brown and black. Um, not all of it came up the same again where it's been sheltered. That's where it sort of comes up But all of the moss is gone um, And there's a slight bit of color to it. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that actually um, These are like wood things obviously untreated wood So there's only so much you can do with it But they're gonna get it sanded down a little bit and some varnish put on that's what I recommended them to do And of course that once upon a time throne that came up awesome so a complete difference they can actually sit on this now for story time uh yeah without um getting soggy bottoms and yeah slipping off their seats and things like that because it's too slippy so yeah i hope you're uh hope you all enjoyed that video hope you're all happy with things with how things turned out like i am um thanks to skillshare for sponsoring this video hopefully they actually did and i got this sorted because they've messaged me about a six deal thing which i've accepted but i don't know if this video will be in line with that deal or not if not ignore me so no one sponsored this video if not but i'm pretty sure it'll be skillshare so thank you to skillshare um that, that's how i can sort of afford to do these jobs i want to put everyone's name who donated as well huge thank you to a fellow called brandon who donated a hundred dollars um on one of my live streams a few days ago specifically towards this job so i'm over the moon with that um, and yeah, thank you to everyone else as well who's donated, all of the joiners on YouTube as well. I think there's like 13 of you now. Um, so I'll put all of your names. So I'll put all of, uh, so I'll put all of your names um, on screen now. And yeah, massive, massive thank you. This is what enables me to keep doing stuff like this. Um, and I've got a few more coming up in line already. Um, this job, from what I would have quoted this with the sponsorship and uh, the joiners donations um, it's actually what I probably would have quoted the job in the first place so that's awesome I never ever expected that I always thought oh maybe if I get like 50 quid towards a 500 pound job you know I'll happily cover the rest for the day because obviously I put the video out and the video is monetized as well so if a video does well then um, you can kind of make up some of the rest of the costs so so to actually have almost the entire job paid for without even uploading the video yet uh, that is mind-blowing I never expected that to happen so from the bottom of my heart thank you very much um, and I'll continue to keep doing things like this and now if anyone is local to the UK um, within a reasonable distance of Burton um, and you know anyone that's in need if you know um, an establishment like a school or a church and things like that that really need things doing uh, hit me up if it's within my distance and I've got time to do it you know I'll definitely inquire and have a look and see if I can get that done for you so thank you again everyone hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button if you want to leave a comment if you want to know anything um, if you've got any questions and then I'll see the other one that they ask you to do oh yeah subscribe if you enjoyed so yeah thank you very much everyone peace